take it on board as much ballast as there was room for. So get it exactly the way I wanted it. I went down myself with a lantern to stow the stones and get in as much as I could. I feel I have done what I should have done. The bottom of the ship was too narrow and she had no belly. I told Admiral Flem this. He replied that the master surely had built ships before and that I was not to worry. So, you noticed that the ship was tender. I can only say that the captain of the Vasa had shown Admiral Fleming how weak the ship was. While the ship was docked below the royal palace, he had 30 men run from one side of the ship to the other in the presence of the Admiral. After they had run back and forth three times, the Admiral ordered them to stop. Had they continued, the ship would have overturned. To this, Admiral Fleming said, if only His Majesty were at home. This was important testimony. Admiral Klaus Fleming, the strong man of the Navy and confidant of the King. Why dared he not do anything after the ominous stability test? We know that the King was pushing hard to get his ship under sail. Much was at stake. Thank you.